Sachin Susutta is almost about to sweat in AC. You know why? You have no fuel. So it was on reserve. I thought, okay, we will reach Hubli and refuel. But the range is zero. Uh, the flea market is on Wednesdays and according to season again. But this market street is always there. The 15th of August, it's 10.30. We are heading for breakfast. There's no way I start from here. Always. I walk all the way from the resort, come to the parking lot and realize I didn't vlog. Okay. Uh, what plans for today? No plan. Happy Independence Day to all the viewers. And Happy Independence Day. Uh, he is losing his shyness slowly. I'm basically bored of having breakfast in this uh, street where we actually staying. That Baga deck is one place I want to try, which I haven't tried. I think we'll try tonight for dinner. Tonight. Tonight we'll try Baga deck. Apart from that, I think we had uh, food, uh, few oh. of the places here. So we're going out towards Anjuna Beach and what is that? Butterfly Beach. Mm, butterfly. We saw some Butterfly Beach. I want to go to Anjuna Beach and Flea Market. So we'll just put that location on the maps and then we will find something for breakfast on the way. Done with breakfast at uh, Bistro. We, I had English breakfast with cappuccino. Our man here had, uh, you know the onion, onion uttapam, but he gave him, uh, onion, onion dosa instead. <laughs> so that is something that they are not aware of, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't know yeah, what the scene is. We are done. We are going for. Now we are headed to Anjuna Beach. Once the tummy is full, now energy kicks in. So this is Anjuna Market Road. The time is 11.45 So it's a little empty I've been told that uh, the flea market is on Wednesdays and according to season again But this market street is always there Only for girls, everything is for women You just walk inside from the parking lot and uh, the seashore is right here See this? Damn close. The water comes all the way up here. What's <laughs> the But not many playing in the water. It's a very uh, rocky uh, surface here. There's a lot of brown shade that I see in front of me is all the rocks which is beneath the water. There. Slippers in the hand as we're just walking by the edge. The water is really dirty here. Just trying to go to that area. Then, if I go too far, I'll have a shower. Is that a final check? Pass the room, soaps, and nothing here. Which night? That is his job, final check. Duty given to him. So, today is 16th of August and we are checking out of Goa. We are finishing our vacation. Oh my god. <sighs> my laptop bag and tank bag is already in the car. We went out for breakfast, so that's when I left those bags. And it's time to leave this place. Today there is no one in the pool. Actually, the resort is kind of empty now. Shishrod? Yeah. Goa is done? Done. Done and dusted? Yes, we are going home. Finally. We enjoyed the stay, we enjoyed the vacation. Now, the way back to Bangalore, I have chosen to drive towards uh, Hubli from Old Goa to Ponda and that route. Let's see how that road is. While coming, the road was nice. It wasn't that bad, it was scenic, but the roads were not that great. This road, uh, this also has some guard section and all that. So it should be good until uh, Hubli. This road will take me to Hubli. I mean Darwad and then to Hubli. 
Oh, NH67, NH48, everything is there on this. The way to Kolam Station, Dutsaga Falls. You seen my videos earlier. I would have come here during the monsoon ride in Maharashtra. Was here. I don't know if this place is closed to visitors now, but if you take this road, you will go to Kolam Railway Station, and from there, that is where I started walking towards Dutsaga Falls. And in a few minutes, we will be crossing over into Karnataka, and there will be vehicle checking. The traditional bottle check, <laughs> liquor checking just finished, and and nothing much. He asked, "Where what I said? The Bangalore will be like a Ubi, be like a unknown number. Cut karo." So he didn't uh, check much. I just opened my bag. I showed him. He checked. He left. That is all. That is all. The checking was. Then I, I did ask him about uh, Dutch Sagar visit. Is it uh, available now or people are going? From morning to afternoon, they do allow people. You can still trek over the railway track. But again, chances are yours. The day when the railway police are there or they block it, risk is yours. If you want to go, you can go try. It is open for tourists. You can go, but you have to come in the morning itself and uh, go towards Dutsagar from Kolam. Castle Rock, I am not aware. I have never been through that way. We will reach Castle Rock in some time. When I came, I came here and went. Things are okay. Otherwise, nothing, nothing serious. ट्रैफिकिंग Now actually the trucks are coming. One truck, one bus went. Two trucks have come. Okay, finally there's some movement. Just done with the uh, Karnataka side of uh, liquor checking. Now there is one token also which needs to be purchased. I don't know what that is. We need to pay some tax. Mister, twenty. बाइक 15 20 motorcycles are here there are two v storms inside which i met on the way while riding and this big so like crowded function shushuta is almost about to sweat in ac you know why you have no fuel so it was on reserve i thought okay we will reach hubli and refuel but the range is zero for quite some time now when we bought sweets at darwad i thought we still have range to reach hubli and hubli is 3 km from here just hoping that we have a fuel station here from darwad to hubli i have come without fuel with zero range so full tension no accelerating just driving on idle i reached allu shell allu indian oil ida hello allu ida munde Got into Hubli Road. Our man has uh, Indian oil cart, so we came to Indian oil. We'll see how much it will take. Forty-eight, fifty, fifty na ida. Sak budi, sak sak kashe. So I thought fifty-four. So only forty-nine only. Fifty liter tank then. Well, I don't know the right measure, but see. Forty nine point six eight. Forty nine point six eight costed three four thousand three fifty seven. But just liter of fuel le liya. Okay, man tension over. Tension over. Happy trip continues. Now continue. So we stopped at uh, Hotel Grand, had a cup of tea, Krishna washroom break all done, and uh, check the 
present average after I refueled. I just reset everything and it shows 17.0 and I'm maintaining 80 since there are a lot of cameras on this roof. I think why take the chance? We'll keep it at 80 and when I checked it shows 17. That is ultimate mileage for it. I don't know how long I can hold this but we'll see. How long it goes. As long as cameras are there, yeah, they can control me. Stopped at this place, Hotel Niharika. Uh, just cross Chitra Durga and get to reach Tumkur. Lovely food. Super Daba food. Not Daba food actually. Daba with Nati food. Daba style and Nati food is what he serves here. Very nice. After a long time, I enjoyed the dishes and served ah. well. It was very good. Awesome. Our man was getting pissed off with all the Goan style food and all that. He's come to Karnataka style and he's full happy. <laughs> Killer happy. He's taking photos of the hotel. The time is 11.05. We reached Bangalore. I mean Chamraj Pet. And when I fueled, we fueled in 26 litres. So, half a tank from Hubli to Bangalore. 400 kilometres. So, all the way from Hubli till Bangalore when the boat said 400, we did it in 26 litres. That's killer. Killer mileage. I'll show you how much. Actually, after I came into the city, what happened was the mileage dropped due to traffic situations. Yeah, not bad. I still got 15.8. See? That's pretty good mileage. It was at 17. It came down to approximately 16. So, yeah, I'll just show this place here. Mm -hmm. I'll drop him off and uh, continue home, obviously. The trip is not over until I reach home. I'll finish the video here. I'll be just going home. I'll drop him off here now. So thank you for watching this one. Until the next one, take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.